yeah this is the fourth uh, lesson in kinematics of a particle uh, we are focusing for the beginning on motion in a straight line with a constant acceleration this is the heading which actually helps you uh, get into the mood for uh, problem solving basically so that's what i'll uh, focus first and then we'll make it more general using integration differentiation all that but remember within this itself just in a small heading like that motion in a straight line with a constant acceleration you got the best possible problems in kinematics so but in the previous class we have derived the three equations what what are those equations children in a simple way like in a 10th class level only we did it we wrote the equations as what if you remember v equals u plus at we did it. that's over and 2 s equals e plus v by 2 i want to write like this first and that was also equal to ut plus half at squared AT square we had and this also equal to vt minus half at square we wrote then we wrote v square minus u square equals 2as hmm? and the last one is the s in the nth second we wrote as u plus a into n minus half this one we did not derive but i'll repeat once again my conditions here this is motion in a straight line and that too with a constant acceleration All right so but yeah this equation we derived from the uh definition of displacement equals average velocity into time and we have told that only when the particle moves with a constant acceleration the average velocity can be written as initial plus final by two otherwise we cannot write by substituting u equals v equals u plus at we got this substituting u equals v minus at we got this but we'll also show it from what the graph we'll also show it from the graph here that is velocity time graph you take velocity on x-axis time on velocity on y-axis t on x-axis here velocity is a function of time velocity is the dependent variable t is the independent variable time keeps on changing and the velocity keeps changing okay now if the body is going starting with initial velocity u and moving with an acceleration a constant acceleration the graph will be like this it starts from here with the initial velocity u like this okay now area under this and the time axis gives the displacement the reason for that was talked already that's what galileo did in the beginning what is the reason children i told you just listen here i'll write separately somewhere here velocity and time when i take that line here velocity actually is changing but we'll divide it into many many small rectangles like this so small that this this variation is almost ignored actually in the figure i cannot make it uh, smaller than that if i make it smaller than that you cannot even see the difference between the first line and the second line but remember this is infinitesimally small you may call it ds so small that you will think this this to be almost a straight line 
parallel to the time axis. So this area will be what simply this V and this small time dt or probably V1 and dt. Like that, we'll write areas as V1 dt plus some V2 dt here, some V3 d3 dt like that you get. This only is actually a method of integration, try to understand. This ultimately will be some sigma v dt children. So this will be nothing but the total area. But this v dt is nothing but what? Displacement ds plus ds plus ds plus ds is delta s. All that if you do, it will be simply delta s. Are you listening to me? So finally, what we are trying to tell is that this area under this graph, the straight line and this time axis should be equal to the displacement. So that will be a triangle like this. Okay, and this will be a rectangle. So the rectangle area, you know very well, is what basically ut. ut. So u is the breadth, t is the length. So this is ut, this area. And this area will be what? Half into triangle, base, time, into this will be what? V, v minus u. V minus u. Basically, right? Huh? Yes, sir. What will yes, be v sir. minus u? You know, from the slope of thing, we know a equals v minus u by t minus zero, we wrote, right? Yes. And theta equals this by this we wrote. So V minus is nothing but AT. So AT you write here. So the total, this, this total area, which is equal to displacement, which is what you call as S is equal to what? Is equal to S, that is equal to UT plus half. 80 square. square. This is how you derive it from what you call the equation, the graph. Okay. Tell me. Sunday class people, not many people are happy. Huh? But why? I don't know. Mm -hmm. All right. Complete this. So any questions, Yogi and others? No, sir. No, sir. No, sir. I will be deriving them in the most general way a little later. But right now, let us understand it just that 10th class and the 10th class way. In fact, now these relations are derived like this in 10th class without going for a vector and integration approach. That is okay because the body is going in a the body is going in a straight line and with a constant acceleration. So even if you write, don't write the arrows like that, and even if you don't go for a more general more general method of doing it from integration, still that works. Okay. Yes, sir. Sir? Yes. Then how do we derive Vt minus half a t square? Vt minus half a t square from the graph? Yes, sir. Uh, you know, V is the final velocity. Huh? Yes, sir. Uh, so if you go to the top, V into T will give you this whole thing. Right? Yes, sir. Minus the other triangle. This one. Huh? Okay, sir. This is whole Vt. If Minus you remove this, time. this is equal to since this plus this only, right? Yes. Yes, sir. Huh? Yes, sir. Got it. 
Do you understand that? Yes, sir. If everybody. She asked yes, that. Sir, That's a good question. Huh? Yes. Hmm. Like if you complete it here, V into T will be total area like this, right? Huh? That minus yes. this will be simply this, which was equal to this and plus this. Isn't it so? Yes, sir. Hmm. All right, good. Now, can I continue, children? Yes, sir. Right. Now that displacement covered during the nth second. Or straight line, I am saying distance also you can say if you want. Huh? So that will be in or during that will be the correct word during nth second that means a particular second okay that will be s nth equals s in n, n seconds and s in n minus one second you call it as s in n seconds this will be s in n minus 1 seconds what is the idea children say body is covering and uh, body is uh, moving in a straight line with a constant acceleration and travel for 10 seconds for example this is 10 second ending if i want to find out the distance during the 10th second huh? i should subtract distance covered in nine seconds from the distance covered in 10 seconds then i'll get the distance covered during this 10th second isn't it so yes distance yes, covered sir. in seven seconds minus distance covered in six seconds will be equal to the distance covered during seventh second distance covered in 11th second is distance covered in full 11 seconds minus distance covered in 10 seconds Ten seconds. Yes. so that's why we're writing like this so it becomes what it basically will be equals sn that is un plus half a n square minus u into n minus one plus half into a into n minus one whole square isn't it in t it is ut plus half a t square in full n seconds it is un plus half a n square so what do i get un plus half a n square minus a n minus a plus half a into a n minus n square plus one minus two n like that so it's only simplifying now un plus half a n square one more expansion is there but if you understand it you can straight away write it okay i'll write a n minus a plus half a n square plus half a minus half two two cancels a n so if you subtract and do that what will go a n minus a n plus a n will go right can you yes, see here yes plus half a n square minus half a n square plus. this will go this will go this will go am i right yes sir yes sir mm -hmm. this will go with this even minus uh, yes sir. and this a n will go with plus a n minus a n plus a n huh? and anything else will go no but this is half a minus a so minus a by no sir mm. Half A will be there, no? Here. Hmm? So what do I get now? U N minus A plus half A. Hmm? Are we getting this or not? Tell me. Sir, plus A, plus a minus, minus half, half A. 
something went wrong oh here un minus a this is not a n this is un minus u yeah yes sir this is un minus u u into n minus 1 this is not a un get cancelled hmm look at that that is not a are you looking at it yes sir mm. yes sir this is u n minus u all right so u n yes. will go right yes mm. plus half a n square minus half a n square also will go hmm u yes sir, sir. Mm. yes sir so plus u Ma minus minus plus minus u minus half my plus hmm, half a hmm? tell me minus half. minus half a so i'll write plus a into oh, okay. yes. n minus half so this is the formula for this distance cover during n second so with this four equations you can do a lot to job in physics i mean this kinematics complete it aditya hmm yogi raghavendra and then uh, all those boys join later hmm join Why are you coming late? So u plus a into n minus half. This is the distance covered during n second. All right. Now, if you finished it, I'll show you how from simple four equations, motion in a straight line with a constant acceleration, we can really do some good problems, starting from the smallest level to the highest level we can take it. Complete, sir. Right. Now, let us see. Exercise and problems. Exercise and problems. Okay. Exercise will be simple. Problems will be difficult that's why i all the time put exercise and problems hmm? exercise will be mostly uh, you will know what to do directly and you put a formula and get it problem means you have to think before setting it up okay so i'll just give a name e r p hmm? all right e first that means exercise that is it's going to be simple hmm? okay, sir. right A particle starts from rest. And moves with a uniform acceleration hmm? along a straight line. Find the ratio of distances covered one during 
first second and third seconds of the motion two in one two and three seconds from the start so this is the first question but under exercise i put that means this question is not going to be tricky hmm? this is a simple straight forward question so that you will know that i should just see for what kind of a equation i can connect it up with that's all the regular uh, method people tell just see what are given write them at one place and then see the formula connect it up that's what you mean by exercise most of the times people confuse exercise with problems problem is the word itself says it is a problem like it's not going to be uh, a straight forward uh, thing Exercises, you know that steps already. You know the steps, so you'll repeat the steps. So that is exercise. Come on. Hmm? So the solution would be what? The first one during first, second, and third, the formula to be used is S during. N seconds. N seconds. U plus yes. A into two N minus, N minus half. half. So S in the first second. Zero oh plus A, we don't know. Leave it. One minus half. So how much is this? A by two. two. S during second second. That will be U is once again zero. A into two minus half. That will be what? Three A by two. 2 to 4 minus 1, huh? 3a by 2. S in third second, that will be 0 plus a into 3 minus half. 3 minus half is how much? 5a by 2. 5a by, by 2. Ratio is a by 2, 3a by 2, 5a by 2. So by two. 1 is to 3 is to 5. five. Right? Yes. yes. Right. Now, but what is the difference between the first and second question, children? Sir, in the first question, it is during a particular time. Particular that second. is one. The first second. That is just just one second. That is, huh? Hmm. Yes, and this is for the entire motion of the. Yeah. That is in, in one second from the beginning, in two seconds from the beginning, in three seconds from the beginning. That is the idea. All right? Though it is exercise and I told you, conceptually, they are good questions. In the sense, from the, from the problem, you can learn something about the uniformly accelerated motion. What is there something? We'll see. What is there something? Can you tell me now? That I'll come back later. Okay, let me finish up the question. After that, I'll come back. So what is the second one? Second one, how should I do that? S in one second, zero plus a half a t square this is, right? This is a by two. S in two seconds, that will be zero plus half into a into two square. How much is this? 2a. 2a. Yes. S in 3 seconds. 0 plus half into a into 3 square. Nine. Right? This is 9a by, by 2. So the ratio will be 2a by 2. 2a is to 9a by 2. Will be how much children? One is one. Four is two. Four is two. Nine. Two four is nine. So that and this you look both. Now something I would like to understand here. 
two points I should make. See, I said during, now one note I am putting here. Huh? If u is zero, hmm, two things are clear from this discussion with it. One is, uh, of course, I've shown for one first second, second second, third second. But if I do first to two seconds, and the next to two seconds, and the next two seconds, also if I take like this, like first second, second second, third second, we said the interval was one only, right? Huh? Yeah. Yes. Now here, first yes. two seconds, next two seconds, next two seconds, if I take also, the ratio of the distances will be, 1 is to 3 is to 5 is to 7 is to 9 is to 11, like that. I don't know whether you understood. Not two seconds, children. Not even three seconds. Three seconds, three seconds. If you want to check it, we'll check it. Huh? Yes. In the uh, first two seconds will be what? Zero. Half A T square. How much? Four. How much is this? 2a. S in four seconds, full four seconds if I do, that will be zero plus half into a into 16. How much is this? 80. 80. So this is in four, this is in two, right? So what is the distance during the next two seconds? Six here, right? Yes. Uh, isn't it? Yes, sir. Uh, so 80 minus 2a will be 6a. This is the distance in the next two. In, this is first two. Second two, if I take, it will be 2a here and 6a here. Next two seconds you take, you will get, tell me, how much? How much do you get? 1 is to 3 is to 5. Ten. 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 you get. Ten. If you want, you can check it. How? S in the S in the next term and six seconds will be what? Zero plus half into a into thirty six. So this is eighteen a. So eighteen a minus eight a is what? Ten a. Ten a. So in the any time in the equal successive time intervals, equal equal successive, successive time, time intervals, the distance covered is in the ratio one is to three is to five is to seven. What is this yeah. one? In equal successive uh -huh. time intervals. So this is the property of a uniformly accelerated motion. Like if you want to show that in the picture way, it will be like this. I, I told you yesterday also, but I'll show it again. Like uh, if, it, if I take first two seconds, how much was that? 2a. This is 2a. In the next two, two more seconds, it will be how much children? 6a. See. Total is 8a. Look at this. Huh? In the next two more seconds, it will be how much children? Only here. Four. This one, from here to here. 8a. Huh? 10A. 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 Yes, this is 10a yes, from here from total of course it is how much 18a 10, 10 6 plus 2 so 2a is 6a 10a what is the ratio 1 is to 3 is to 5 like that this is the way you will visualize the uniformly accelerated motion i don't want you to mix up acceleration with velocity velocity with force force with uh, uh, what you call momentum people mix up they don't have any specific meaning for them but remember each quantity is its own physical quantity everything has a different meaning it conveys something about the motion in a proper way do you follow this so in a simple exercise also there is physics to be learned right and then what else you learn other than this What else you learn? This is during any two successive uh, equal time intervals. This is right, but.
from the beginning if you take from the beginning if you take in the successive times what is successive times in one second in two seconds in three seconds if you take full times from the beginning the ratio will be 1 is to 4 is to 9 is to 16 like that Let's see 1 is to 4 is to 9 is nothing but 1 is to 3 is to 5 if you do for every interval 1 4 minus 1 9 minus 4 isn't it yes, do you follow my point here yes sir huh? people are not responding yes sir yes sir, yes, sir. So i want to really i want you to visualize this what we are trying to tell is from here to here to here from here to here 6a but if i compare like this this one with this one from the beginning from the beginning once again if i do like this what is the ratio i'm getting 2a is to 8a is to 18a isn't it yes sir. tell me that will be what 1 yes. is to 4 is to, four is to nine. 9 is to 16 like that this will be proportional to t square so this kind of a uh, what you call reading the maths this kind of a connecting maths to the actual that space and time business is what you mean by understanding kinematics whatever mathematics comes there that should be attached to what that uh, space in terms of time space in terms of time do you follow the meaning of it how much space is covered in that particular time so that is what you mean by visualizing or that's what you mean by connecting master physics <laughs> all right Sir. so the first exercise can i continue children now yes sir yes sir so i want you to understand some more physics from max the problems also from the exercise also okay right now <clears throat> second hmm the body hmm? is moving with a constant acceleration a constant acceleration A in a straight line what is the distance difference what is the difference in the distances covered during any two successive seconds. Sachit Manga, are you there? Yes, sir. Okay. Just tell me the answer. Specifically, I would like to get it from you. Your body is moving with a constant accel okay. acceleration in a acceleration. A in a straight line. What is the difference in the distances covered during any two successive seconds? Come on. Others try. First to try. Anyway, I'll do this here. Yes. Vaishnavi, Pavani, Shivani. Your voices all the time confuse me. Who is that? 
कर पावनी सर हाँ पावनी फिल मी पावनी सर आई गॉट इट एस थ्री ए थ्री ए हम्म लेट अस सी हाउ डिड यू स्टार्ट पावनी सर फर्स्ट इट इज गोइंग इन अ स्ट्रेट लाइन यस सर लेट मी जस्ट आल्सो try to drop some something some picture let me draw because that's how you'll really understand physics problems not otherwise excuse hmm? me sir yeah i got a as the answer a is the answer sir it says no, yes sir even i got it as a a sir yes sir even a minus a sir ani karnika to a minus start with zero initial velocity or i can still put u i can put u because i have not mentioned that it is in Starting from rest, huh? So okay. any two success seconds. Let me say, this is the nth second, this distance, and that next one is n plus one nth second in that some distance. So what formula should I use? F n is equal. Yes, u into a into n plus one minus half is that one. S nth will be what? U plus a into two n minus one by two by two. So if I do n plus one minus s n, you'll get a. So Sachit, tell me what is your comment on this? This distance difference is coming as a. Application of formula, right, sir? Huh? It's the application of formula according to the physics. <laughs> and formula is all right. Once again, I told you, in physics, in general, but in particular in kinematics, can you reduce that to the space and time? That can you imagine that space in terms of time? Can you visualize that space in terms of time? That's what you mean by understanding. We have done it previously in the previous problems. You have shown. I told you already. Yes, Sriya. Sriya, you tell me. Uh, yes, sir. Ah. Huh. See the distance during any two seconds: six seconds, seven seconds, eight seconds, nine seconds. The difference is coming to be a. See, come on. This is distance or displacement, of course, in a straight line. Which going in yes, the same direction is not doesn't matter, but that is coming out as acceleration. That's really something very special. That's it. Yes, sir. Ah. Because it's constant acceleration. Constant acceleration. Agreed. Mm, yes, um, Tanishka. You can take one example and check, no? Sir, hmm. sir, any two successive seconds means doesn't it mean uh, two seconds, four seconds? Two successive seconds. It will be not intervals of two seconds, three seconds like that. It is consecutive. It is not complete. It is just one. Consecutive, one, one, sir. Huh? Consecutive. Yes, consecutive seconds, not sec. I mean, uh, one second consecutive. Consecutive interval of one, one second each. Okay, sir. Ah, uh, took it two a minus a, sir. Two a minus. A took sir. What is that you're saying? Any any value of a will be equal to two a minus a. Two a minus a is a. Three a minus two a is a. Sir. Uh, yes. Sir, is this just a result we found, or can we give any explanation for it? Sir? No, it's not the giving explanation. It is trying to visualize it. It's trying. See, otherwise you say some formula. I put some got some a I got a. No, my point is a is acceleration, Sriya, yeah? and this yes. formula is the difference in the distances. So how different the distance became equal to a? Should we not think? Yes, sir. That's what I was asking. Like, is there an explanation for it, or is it just a coincidence uh, result out of the calculation? There's, there's no explanation. There's an there's an understanding of it. You understand? There's no explanation for it. 
there's nothing like uh, 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 any theory behind it it's only okay. trying to visualize in in terms of space and time okay. yeah because look at this to make it even if you put u equals 0 it doesn't make a difference right huh? Huh. so yes, uh, to understand it u equals 0 you think for a while huh and acceleration value you want to give some two two meters per second per second is the meaning of acceleration do you understand actually i don't want yes, to people to say two meters yes, per second yes. square because second square has no meaning two meters per second per second means what for every one second say if it is first second if i take zero to two meters per second the velocity changes right and in one more second in one more this is one second this is another one second interval it will change by two meters per second more so that will become the velocity part this one is not acceleration i'm showing do you follow my point the speed is changing for every second by two meters per second the got speed it. is changing huh? got it visually sir what is it what is it tell me uh, if an object moves in a straight line uh, yeah. as we are considering in straight line for yeah. now, uh, mm -hmm. It is traveling uh, with given u meters per second and constant acceleration of a meter per second per second. Yeah. It means for every unit second, uh -huh. it is changing a meter per second. The, the speed. The yeah. Velocity. The speed is changing. In the, uh, the speed or velocity is changing. Yes. A meters per second. Per second. second. Yeah. Yeah. For every second, the velocity changes by a meters per second. Hmm? Yes. Uh, yes, that yeah. that change is called acceleration. That's, that, acceleration. that's correct. But the dis the the thing is, the difference in the distances. See, distances is coming here. Velocity you're talking. What Sachit says yes. is correct. What he says is, in every one second, the speed is changing by a, a meter mean. per second. For, for every second, the speed is changing by a meters per second. So, how do you connect the distance here with this? Uh, See, this is a meter per second. Do you understand? Yes, sir. A meter per second means the speed itself is what? It is a distance covered in one second. One second, yes. Isn't it so? So, yes, sir. Uh, so the difference has to be equal to what? A meters. A, a meters. Hmm. Yes. You can put some numbers and also check it. So, this, this is what I focus upon. Try to understand. Formulas help you in doing exercise, but formulas do not help you in doing problems. Yes, Formula's sir. meaning will help you in doing a problem. Okay. All right. Yes, sir. Just now I'll show one problem. So to, today Sachit Manga is there. I want to just see how he is going to do that. Huh? All right. Sriya, I'll give a problem which you might have done with me already. Yeah, Raviteja, tell me. So it is only for succession intervals. Yeah. Isn't it so? Isn't it so? Yes, sir. It mm, is. You should say now, not me. Bona. Yes, sir. It is only for succession. Yeah. Consecutive succession. Conse yeah. Consecutive succession doesn't matter. Hmm? Mm -hmm. Okay. One more question here. Can I go to the next problem? I'll give you now. Hmm? Sir. I'll say this is a problem. It's a very, very good problem I like. Uh, I can give you directly, but I would like to read from the book straight away so that you don't blame me that I'm hiding any information or the wording is uh, uh, given in such a way that you don't get the question all that. I'll simply give it from the question from the book come on at a distance same question i'll give you so if you remember those people who did it with me already 
just yes, do it don't uh, blurt out the answer i don't know if you remember that's great if you did not remember that's bad but let me see at a distance l equals 400 meters from the traffic light from the traffic light brakes are applied brakes are applied to a locomotive to a locomotive moving at a velocity we need a velocity v equals 54 km per hour determine determine the position of the locomotive the position of the locomotive relative to the traffic lights relative to the traffic light traffic light one minute after the application of one minute after the application of application of breaks if if its acceleration is a equals minus 0.3 meters per second square so be careful and remember just based on one or two equations we've written down there hmm yes sir hmm so bhavana were you there when i did uh, kinematics yes sir i was there you were there okay uh, tulasi vardhan i'll give you freedom to tell me what you have done tulasi vardhan vamshi vamshi are you there today i do yes, not sir. know uh, yes, sir, uh, tell me but remember i am just i am just asking you to get into the problem solving mode mode what are the equations to be applied only this s equals ut plus half at square of course remember three different forms of it u plus v by 2 huh into t or vt minus half at square anything like that you can apply this one or v equals u plus at or v square minus u square equals to as or snt equals 
u plus a into n minus half. Just based on these four equations, we are going to do wonders. Hmm? So for that reason, I, I just without going for uh, generalization like integration, all that, I'll, I want you to push into that kind of problem solving first to begin with. So tell me. Sir, I used u to this half it is first. No, all right. What answer did you get? I got it 800.3. I got what? 800.3. <laughs> no, just a minute. Maybe I didn't calculate mistakes. So, uh, mute your audio. I can, I'm hearing voices from the room. Sorry, sir. Sorry, sir. Mm, mute it. Come on. Vamsi, Tulasi Vardhan. I'm waiting for you. Aditya. Okay. Sriya? Uh, yes, sir. Mm, what shall we do? Draw a diagram. Draw a diagram for this. Not much, but anyway. Okay. Sir, I uh, got the answer. Uh, tell me, Sachit. Sir, 40 meters. 40 meters. Reasonably so to begin with. So tell me, Sriya, is this correct? Sir, I didn't so completely solve it yet. Okay. Bhuvana? Okay. Uh, correct only. Huh? All right. Let me see. Sachit, tell me what did you do? I, I'll write your solution here. Sir, I took the equation S is equal to ut plus half at S square. equals ut plus half, half at is. square has taken. So, S equals U is 54 kilometer per hour means how much? 15 meter per second. 15, 15 meters per second. Five into 5 by 18. Huh? Yes, sir. 54 into 5 by 18 is 15 meters per second you get. So 15 meters per second into, into 1 into minute. 60 seconds. 60 seconds plus half into half minus is. 0 0.3 into T squared. 15 uh, 60 uh, square 3600 3600 so this will be 900 uh, minus yes, 900 minus minus, minus point 0.3 how much is this Zero. 18 540 or what this is 1800 540, 18, sir. 540. so this will be how much 360 360 360 so this was the traffic signal right so initially the car was automobile was here at 400 so this stopped after uh, 360 is what Sachit Manga says so the answer should be 40 is this correct hmm? No. We got it as 25 meters from this traffic signal. Let us check it. Huh? 25 meters. Uh, let me check it. Initial velocity is so much children. 54. Huh? Yes, I would like sir. to know in how much time it stops actually. So I'll use V equals U plus. When it stops. Huh? Yes, sir. 15 seconds, sir. It's 50 seconds here. Yes, sir. And 50 Zero seconds. equals U. 15, 15 minus into T. So T will get it as 50 seconds. So in 50 seconds only it is stopping. So if I write S equals U T plus half A T square again. I'll get S equals 375. I'll get to check it. Meters. So yes, the answer sir. is 25 meters. I'll get. So, yes, which is the right one you argue for your case? So, this is what I though the pro, why am I calling it a problem? You know, it's not a straightforward question. 
It's not a straightforward question of only putting an equation. So I'll show you some tens of problems like this. The first time will always go wrong. That's what you mean by a problem. It's, it's not going to yield to uh, regular uh, uh, run of the mill kind of an approach. So Sachit, tell me. Or if you want to say your answer is correct, argue for it. I agree to your answer. Mm -hmm. My answer only you'll agree. Why? <laughs> Actually, someone in the second years was asking, sir, you're teaching theory when, when like whether sir does problems. Believe me, if I give you problems out of 100, you may not get even 10. Because my understanding of problems is different from your understanding. Probably most of the times people confuse problems with exercise. Hmm? Problem. Yes. Problem is a problem, right? I have a problem with my friend. I have a problem with my father. I have to solve for it. I have to solve my problem with my father because all the time I'm studying, but he's still shouting at me. So that's a problem, right? So problem is all the time somewhat. <laughs> it's not straightforward thing. Hmm? Problem of poverty, poverty of people, problem of floods, right? So they require some good solution, right? But come on, I don't want you to accept anything just for uh, the sake of it. So what was the mistake in doing uh, this way, Sachit? Uh, I took the time as uh, the one minute interval in which the brakes are being applied. Yeah, actually the problem is very, very cleverly framed child. He did not give 10 minutes, he gave one minute. Yes. Try to understand. Otherwise people argue yes. for it. Two minutes means what, to, what will happen. See, he applied the brakes. The acceleration dis decides the time in which it stops. And we saw that 50 seconds only it's stopping. So in 10 more seconds, nothing is going to happen, right? Isn't yes, it? Sir. So, yes, so that's why the, you should say the answer is 25, not 40. 40 okay. Isn't it so? Yes, sir. Oh, so this kind of problems will be many. So I want you to be attentive, very, very attentive. So in this problem, they misstated us with that one minute. Yes, yes. That's the whole idea. They want to do that. Because otherwise, this is not a problem only, right? Huh? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Right. So uh, I'll be bringing some very, very good problems uh, tomorrow. Hmm? Only okay, based on sir. these four equations, not anything else. Hmm? Yes, so let us once again meet tomorrow at 7.30. All right. Okay, okay thank sir. Thank you, right you sir. Now I'll be closing it. Thank you, sir. End the show. Thank you, sir. And then stop share. Thank you, sir. Stop share and then end the session.